The FIFA World Cup, despite the controversy before the kickoff, has been entertaining, with shock defeats, heavyweight teams bowing out, and star power. Africa once again had two countries heading into the second round, with one more going into the quarterfinals, while having the most wins than any other World Cup it attended. Tunisia were unlucky, and Cameroon were able to defeat Brazil, while Ghana self-destructed on a quest for revenge. However, what if the narrative was different? What if Nigeria, Egypt, Algeria, Mali and the DRC were at the World Cup instead? Would records have been broken and would any team have advanced to the knockout stages? That is what we will discuss today on Africa Assemble. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like this video to help us make more content you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. After an arduous qualification process, 10 teams engaged in playoffs to represent Africa at the Qatar 2022 World Cup shortly after the AFCON 2022. Senegal defeated Egypt on penalties again, Ghana defeated Nigeria on away goal rules, Morocco easily dispatched of DR Congo, Tunisia held on to an own goal from Mali and Cameroon defeated Algeria deep into extra time. This is why the likes of Khalidou Koulibaly, Hakim Ziyech, Toko Ekambi and Akraf Hakimi were present at the World Cup. If all these teams had not won their matches, we would have seen Victor Osimhen, Riyad Mahrez and Mo Salah instead. Hypothetically, if all the defeated nations would have been in the groups the current African teams were in, then Egypt would have faced the Netherlands, Ecuador and Qatar, Mali would have faced France, Australia and Denmark, the DRC would have met Croatia, Belgium and Canada, Algeria would have met Brazil, Switzerland and Serbia, while Nigeria would have been in a group with Portugal, South Korea and Uruguay. Let's look at how each team may have fared. Egypt will always hold the distinction of being the first African team at the World Cup, however the country has had a dreadful record at the World Cup. They have only qualified for three events and have never won a match, but looking at the group, there would have been a chance for Egypt to progress to the second round, with a loss to the Netherlands, a win over Qatar and a draw with Ecuador, just barely escaping the first round. Egypt though would have lost to England in the second round. Mali would not have fared well as they would have been defeated by France and Denmark while earning a draw with Australia. The DRC would have had a similar fate to Mali, though they would have lost to Croatia and Belgium, but could have fought for a victory against Canada. Nigeria, despite the talented squad, would also not progress past the first round, with three draws to Portugal, Uruguay and South Korea. Algeria would be difficult to predict as it depends on the outcomes of the other teams. Algeria would be able to defeat Serbia and possibly draw with Switzerland, leaving them a similar task of Cameroon to defeating Brazil. In hindsight, it looked like Africa was going to replicate its performance in 2022 with no teams advancing past the first round. But with the multiple victories and the drama it added this time around, it is safe to say that the right teams were at this World Cup. Question: Have you watched our video on the history of Africa at the World Cup? If not, what are you doing? Click on the end link to watch the video. You will not be disappointed. As football is a very open subject, it will be interesting to see your prediction on what would have happened if the losing teams made it to the World Cup instead. The only way we can know this is by reading the comments you leave in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe and like the video to help us. Comment below to discuss or request a video. Okay, bye now.